We need to get back to our universes soon. Brooklyn is going to collapse. My family lives in Brooklyn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Miles, what's wrong? This was never your city. It's mine. If I don't destroy the Collider, none of us will have a home to go home to. Remember, what makes you different... Let's go! ...is what makes you Spider-Man. Officer, I love you. <laughs> Wait, what? What's up, everybody, and welcome to Real Time for the Real Everyday Movie Fan. I'm Ryan Murphy. And I'm Josh Williams. And today we are giving you a real-time review of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Who's uh, all in this? Oh, gosh. Well, this movie has uh, <laughs> a lot stars, of people. Uh, Shameik, the voices of Shameik Moore as the newcomer as Spider-Man. Then it has Jake Johnson, Chris Pine, Liev Schraber, Haley Steinfeld, yeah. Catherine Hahn, uh, Brian Tyree Henry, Mahershal Ali... Um, uh, may have oh, missed the first one too. Yeah, so, um... I thought it was, uh... Oh, I can't remember, uh... I Someone forgot else? his name. Someone else. So... I forgot his name already. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, uh... That notwithstanding, here we are. Uh, but So, I'm gonna go ahead... I'm gonna go ahead and give, first give my thoughts on this film. Do I'm it. gonna give it a 6 out of 10. What? I was disappointed with this film. It's no! It's so, uh, just... The first, the like, so for, first I'll give my positives. The positives <sighs> are it's it's uh it's I mean it's a it's kind of it's kind of a typical origin story with the spin that you know the multiverse and everything like that. But it's still a pretty typical origin story. But it's it's you know has its own charm. It has its own uh, appeal. It has Jake Johnson as this uh, version of Peter Parker you've never seen trying to be a mentor to this uh, new uh, Peter Parker or not new Peter Par Peter Parker but the new Spider Man Miles Morales. And there's chemistry there and there's good stuff there and. Um, and I guess that that that'll, that kind of carries it a lot a lot of the way. Like from the beginning, it starts with Miles, and you you're following him. So I mean, the the character are actually the characters in the story are actually what carry the film because this film is not enjoyable at all for its action sequences. Every action sequence in this movie was ridiculous and stupid. I mean, we have a movie where there's like literally thousands of shots being fired at point blank range and nothing's hitting this person like for five minutes long. It's basically like, that's your action scene. And then it's just so over the top and wacky and you can't tell what's going on. And then the ending action scene was just, I thought it was stupid. And there's a lot in this film that I just did not uh, buy or get. And then the, the, uh, the character, uh, the character development, or the character relationships is supposed to be like with these six different Spider-Man, and like, like I said, the chemistry is there with Jake Johnson and and, Sh and Shameik Moore, the Peter Parker, and Morales, Morales. That's about it. Then they have all these other Spider people that are just weird. And mm. at the end, this isn't really spoiling anything, but obviously at the end when they all go their separate ways, it's like I'll never forget you. And I'm just like, eh, there's no, there, this has not been a love story with you guys. It's like you guys have had like two seconds of dialogue. And it's like, I, and there's no, there's no tenderness here. Um, but it's just, yeah, I, I, I was frustrated. And yet I'm giving it a fresh score, right? Six is like the bare minimum for fresh score. Cause you know, you'll probably be like him, go see it and like it. I think there's a lot of people who are going to like this movie a lot more than I did. There's a lot of people who are going to give it negative reviews. Um, mm. so I feel like I'm sort of in the middle here. Um, but there you go. As of right now, it has a 99% on Rotten oh, Tomatoes okay. with about 134 four reviews in okay. so like i mean that's where well, i mean star right wars now. the last jedi has 91 so i mean you can't always yeah well, i for ahead. one i for one really enjoyed this movie i'm gonna give it a 8.9 okay there were some wow, stuff i found i found some stuff that was silly i did but i took I, it down just one percent for him it did not not two percent not two and not three percent you know but I thoroughly, it might actually go a little bit higher. I need to see it again. Oh, there you go, 9.0, okay. <laughs> it might go a little bit higher. We'll see. Uh, but I thoroughly like this. There was only a couple things I really didn't like. There was a, there's some uh, a story plot with Aunt May that I'm not going to get into because it's spoiler <laughs> territory I did not like. I even checked with a friend of mine who's really big into the canon of Spider-Man, and he said that no incarnation of Aunt May has ever occurred. So that bumped it, because at first I was like, I'm not going to make it a negative, it is canon, because I don't know a ton about all the different Spider-Verses, you know, different Spider-Men in their worlds, so I checked with him, and that's why, that, that's a big one for me, because I just did not buy that whatsoever. Um, and the, there's also with the animation. Well, I love the animation. I don't know about you, did, but because well, like like you were making fun of the, the, the animation at first we every were. moment up leading up to this film for like a year. At first, I was. Yeah. Yes, I, I will admit, I was. 
Because in those trailers, they threw, they showed a lot of like the 3D aspect, like the, looking like 3D without having the glasses on. And then when you watch the movie, it it only does it a few times, which did take me out of the movie, which is why I had that problem. So they toned that down quite a bit. But the actual feel of it looking like a comic book, I at first didn't know if I was going to like it. I really didn't. But as the movie went on, I bought into it, and I actually really thought it was a new way of... Uh, doing animation because from what I hear this is all uh, for about 80% of the movie it's all hand drawn mm -hmm. all of it so it's it's pretty impressive it's kind of old school way of doing things and but I you know, I liked the Miles Morales character I liked his story arc I will I will challenge anybody to show, show an origin story that's not paint by numbers from what we've seen before I mean that's the same doing with like the Rocky movies I dare you to <laughs> find a Rocky movie and not have the kind of the same formula and still have it be good. I, I challenge anybody to do that. So for me, I bought into that. I love Aquaman. The Aquaman. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll talk about that. <laughs> um, but no, and then one of the things I really liked, I liked the chemistry between, like you said, Miles Morales and Peter Parker. There was great comedic moments there. There was kind of like the it felt like the Mr. Miyagi and Daniel. From... Yeah, Mr. Miyagi was a depressed <laughs> loser. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really... F I, I found that really great. And you did, I loved the Spider Pig. I loved Spider Noir. I loved all the new... The only one I didn't really like was the one that had the, the machine. The anime one. Yeah, the anime yeah. one. I didn't really like that one too much. <laughs> that one was another negative for me. I didn't really... They could Hopefully, I would have liked to have seen something else. Yeah, I think that one I just hated. Kingpin's design just bugged me the whole movie. So stupid looking. <laughs> and over, over the top. More over the top than anyone else in the movie. It's just like... But he's over the top in the animated movies. He's way over the top the in the animated anime. movies. That's right. The animated TV show. How so? Not like that. that this, is, this is... Yeah. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> one thing... Um, and the villains, like... I realized they were going... I guess they were going more the ultimate style with Green Goblin and Scorpion. I, they were, I mean, they were cool, but I wish I would have seen something a little more different. But besides that, I had a lot of fun with this. You enjoyed Those, watching them just run away from the bad guys as they're shooting them at point blank range and missing for five minutes point and thousands blank of range. shots. Was it was that? ridiculous. That was not, the there was, laser, not, oh, there was, was not point blank range. Oh there was only gosh. a couple spots. They're like 10 blanks. feet away, but dude, like it was, it was insane. And that's like the whole movie. And it's just like every action scene in this movie that takes place is just so unbelievably over the top. It's just not, it's yeah, I, but whatever fresh score go see it you know go kids, see kids it i it. thoroughly enjoyed it i had a lot of fun this is definitely one of the best anime films of the year um you got that one isle of dogs incredibles 2 and ralph breaks the internet that'll probably definitely be getting oscar nominations i don't know what i would pick i don't but... think ralph breaks the internet is getting one at all but... uh, right now it got it for golden globes okay. so we'll see you there but check it out i know everyone have a lot of fun take your kids to see it it's a good time to watch at the christmas time all right, that'll do us for today, folks. What did you think of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Leave your comments in the section below and let us know what you thought. Also, if you like what you see, like, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Stardust, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. And until next time, I'm Ryan Murphy. And I'm Josh Williams. And thank you for keeping it real. With real time. <laughs>